In this lesson, we're going to focus on equivalent fractions. Now, equivalent fractions are simply fractions that gives us a particular value when they are divided. That's what you must understand. And for instance, I can say that 3 over 6, 6 over 12, 4 over 8, these are equivalent fractions because when I divide all these fractions, it gives me one particular value, which is 1 over 2. Now, let's try that. 3 here is 1. 3 and 6 is 2. That's 1 over 2. 6 here is 1. 6 here is 2. That's 1 over 2. 4 here is 1. 4 and 8 is 2. That's still 1 over 2. So, equivalent fractions are fractions that gives us a particular value when they are what? Divided. How do we write out 4, 4 equivalent fractions for all this? Now, what we must do now is, we are going to multiply, to get equivalent fractions, you multiply by numbers by numbers. Now, to get the first equivalent fraction of 1 over 2, we multiply the up and down by 2. To get the next, we multiply up and down by 3. To get the next, we multiply up and down by 4. To get the next, we multiply up and down by 5. We do it for everything here, to get 4, 4 equivalent fractions for them. Okay? Now, this is exactly what we must do. The first equivalent fraction here is going to be 2 times 1 is 2 over 2 times 2. 2 times 1 is 2 over 2 times 2 is just what? 4. The next is going to be 3 times 1 is just 3 over 3 times 2 is 6. Then we, we multiply by 2 and multiply by 3. The next one will multiply by 4. 4 times 1 is just 4 and 4 times 2 is 8. To get the last equivalent fraction, we multiply by 5. 5 times 1 is just 5. And um, 5 times 2 is just what? 10. So these are the four equivalent fractions of 1 over 2. Do the same for a, for a. We multiply by 2. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 4 is 8. Multiply by 3. 3 times 3 is 9. And 3 times 4 is what? 12. Multiply by 4. 4 times 3 is 12. And 4 times 4 is 16. Multiply by 5. 5 times 3 is 15. And 5 times 4 is what? 20. Multiply by 2 here. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 6 is what? 12. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 6 is what? Um, 18. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 6 is 24. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 6 is what? 30. Multiply by 2. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 10 is what? 20. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 10 is 30. That means the next will be uh, 4 over what? 40. The next will be 5 over what? 50. Do the next one. We have um, 2 times 1 is 2. And 2 times 3 is what? 6. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 3 is 15. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 5 is 10. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 5 is 15. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 5 is 20. 5 times 2 is 10, 5 times 5 is 25. I'm multiplying by numbers by numbers for every fraction here to get their equivalent fractions. So, multiply 2 here again, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 4 is 8, 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 4 is 12, 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 4 is 16, 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times 4 is 20. For this side, multiply by 2. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 5 is 10. Multiply by 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 5 is 15. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 5 is 20. 5 times 3 is 15. 5 times 5 is 25. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 5 is 10. 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 5 is 15. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 5 is 20. 5 times 4 is 20, 5 times 5 is 25. 
2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 1 is 2, 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 1 is 3, 4 times 3 is 12, 4 times 1 is 4, 5 times 3 is 15, and 5 times 1 is 5. So this is how you can get equivalent fractions. That is quite easy and very simple. So don't forget what equivalent fractions are. They are fractions that gives us a particular value when they are divided. If you, if you want to test this, you can divide all these fractions here. It returns back to 3 over 5. Divide all these fractions here. It gives us 4 over 5. Divide all these fractions here. It gives us 3 over 1. So that is how equivalent fraction is.